Spotlight in the city. Spotlight in the city. Every day of my life. Spotlight in the city. What's going on and welcome to Spotlight in the City where we shine the spotlight on business, entertainment, and philanthropy. I'm your host, Kenyon Glover, and I have the privilege of welcoming the beautiful and talented Amber Holcomb. Amber, welcome. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So you were on season 12 of American Idol. You in the what? Top four, correct? Yes, I came in fourth. So. so tell us about that experience. Oh, man, it was crazy. It was kind of like an out-of-body experience because I didn't realize how long I was away from home. <laughs> but I felt free, so I really didn't care. Now, what's home? Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, where was uh, American Idol at the time? We were in L.A. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even remember the name of the place, but it was L.A. Now, how long were you away from home? You know, it felt like a month. But it was kind of back and forth because Hollywood week, of course, that's a week. And then um, December, I feel like we were there for rehearsals for a really long time. And then I got back for Christmas. Then I was gone again. Maybe about total combined five, four months, four or five months. Wow, you were away from home for four or five months. I think. If I, yeah, that's what it feel like, yeah. Now, a lot of people may not know, like, the process that you have to go through in American Idol. So just take us through the process from the beginning okay. and, and up until the point that you get picked. <laughs> okay, well, this is it. You do the stadium. Well, first, you got to sit in line forever. Yeah. It usually wraps around the building, like, three times. And then you sit in the stadium for, like, six or seven hours. Then you finally get to the audition. If you make it, then you go to the back. And then you have to come back to a whole nother location in like two weeks. <laughs> and then you have to audition for four different, like four different auditions before you even get to see the celebrity judges. So then after that, it's kind of pretty smooth sailing from there, <laughs> but it's a process, it's a long process. So did you get to go up against, uh, who, who was judges at that time? Um, it was Mariah Carey, Nicki Minaj, uh, Randy Jackson, and Keith Urban. <laughs> uh oh, so how was it meeting all of those judges? It was crazy. I mean, like, I love all of them, you know. But, of course, Nicki Minaj, like, oh, my gosh, I didn't Mariah Carey. But, I mean, like, it was, like, out-of-body experience. Like, I didn't even really realize, like, dang, I'm sitting in front of all, you know, these yeah, yeah. legends. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> so did you get to get some advice, like, from Nicki or Mariah? Definitely, definitely. I mean, um, every time I got done singing, you know, Mariah would tell me more about, like, I guess from a singer's aspect, and then Nikki would tell me about my outfit. So, like, it was like. Because she's the queen of outfits, we know, right? It was like a broad range, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Now, I did kind of read that you kind of broke down. Ah. You had a breakdown moment. So, so what happened? What, what happened in the breakdown moment? Explain that. I mean, I just cried. I was going home. And it sucks because what it was, they had top four twice. Because one, like, when it was supposed to, somebody was supposed to go home and it was supposed to be top three, they didn't eliminate anybody and everybody got to stay. So, I mean, the next week, and then there were no more saves. So, the night I got eliminated, it wasn't like I was singing for my save. I was just singing because I'm going home. So, I'm like, I was <laughs> feeling all that. And then my dad was there. He was crying. And I'm like, Ooh. it was so bad. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, you also had a child during that time. Well, you got pregnant during that time, right? And I read that you had a lot of negative, negative feedback. So how, how did that make you feel? And how did you, like, overcome all that negativity? I mean, I feel like the negativity definitely pushed me harder. You know what I'm saying? Because it was people, oh, your career is over, da da da, da. And I'm like, okay, that's your opinion. I'm going to, you know, show you otherwise. Because I still have the talent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that didn't go away. You know what so, I mean? Yeah. I take it with a grain of salt. Okay. So what did you have? A girl. And how is she doing now? <laughs> she's very well. She's actually, um, she's nine months, and she is, like, trying to stand up on her own, yeah. throwing herself around when she throws a fish. She's a diva. <laughs> she's just like mama. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Amber Jr.? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, her name is Jordan. <laughs> uh, 
So do you do you want her to be a singer like you or what? You know what? I do, but her dad wants her to play basketball. Oh, God. Right. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but I wanted to sing. She loves music. Like, the whole time I was pregnant, I was pregnant on tour. Mm-hmm. So she was kind of surrounded by it. And, like, even now, if I start singing, she'll start smiling. Oh. So she loves it. Okay. So tell us what's going on now. What is Amber working on now? What you, what you got? <laughs> Well, what you got brewing in the pot? Okay, well, music, definitely. I also, you know, I see myself doing everything in the future, but right now I guess the main focus is music. Yeah. I have my single that's going to be released in the first quarter. Okay. So, okay. I mean, yeah, we, we working, we working. So are you working on a full album or just recently yeah. a single now? Well, right now, you know, the single is the main focus, but we have tons of music that we're recording yeah. and planning to release. So, okay. yeah. Now, are you... Uh, located in Houston now? Or are you in Atlanta? Or where are you now? I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. ATL, baby, ATL. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, Atlanta's been treating me nice so far. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, who are some of your, your influences, like people you look up to and admire? Um, you know, growing up, a lot of Motown was played. But, of course, my favorite was Whitney Houston. She's not Motown, but whatever. Um, yeah, I grew up mimicking her, listening to every song, singing after her. You know, if she... Or if I messed up, you know, as I was singing, I would have to start the song over until I got it completely right. Okay, okay. Now, in your upcoming album, I'm sure you're going to, you know, put together a hot album. Who are some of the people that you like to work with? I don't like to put myself in a box. But, you know, I mean, let's say Drake, Miguel, Kanye, Nicki. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. It's kind of scattered everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty open. I'm pretty open. Okay. Okay. So let people know, you know, where they can find you, where they can possibly hear some of your music or whatnot. Just, you know, just put it out there. Okay. Well, I am on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram is Amber N. Holcomb, and Facebook is just Amber Holcomb. All right. So you heard it right here, the beautiful and talented Amber Holcomb. Please go and support her. And uh, thank you for watching Spotlight in the City. I'm Kenyon Glover, your host.